Video game history fascinates me to no end, and no lane of video game history fascinates me more than first-person shooters. Written by Stuart Main and published by Bitmap Books, I'm Too Young to Die is an in-depth look at the genre spanning the years 1992 to 2002, detailing the notable games from each year, important historical happenings, along with interviews with some of the biggest names in the genre. Today I'll be talking about this book and why I think it belongs on every FPS fan's shelf or coffee table. But before all that, I want to give a huge thank you to Bitmap Books for sending me the advanced copy. Alrighty, with that, let's get historical. First, let's touch on the quality and layout of this book. I'm Too Young to Die is comprised of 424 pages of FPS history. According to the publisher, each page is a high-quality, edge-to-edge lithographic print using special Pantone ink. What all that basically means is that this book is shiny, smooth, vivid, and looks absolutely superb. Each turn of the page brings a full, rich image of beautiful FPS carnage, with the neighboring page neatly stuffed with clean text against a white background. Its design is minimalistic, with some great FPS flair sure to make a diehard smile. For instance, people interviewed in this book have their own Doom Guy portrait, which not only looks authentic, but is all sorts of charming. And opening the cover, you'll see what first looks like random symbols against a red background. But look closely and you'll realize they're crosshairs of various types. The images used are crisp with rich, high-quality color. The next best thing to seeing them on a monitor. And the cover illustration is magnificent. Black and white, highly detailed skulls of famous FPS characters and archetypes. If anybody is curious about the artist, I have their Instagram posted in the description. I do have some nitpicks. I wouldn't have minded more color to complement the text or mix things up as the book progressed. For me, the black text on white background got a little dry after a while. And while the images are awesome, with some some of them, it's a little hard to tell exactly what's going on or what you're even looking at. But once again, those are just nitpicks for a striking and aesthetically pleasing book. And if anything, they go by the wayside quickly as you dig into the content, which is immense and impressive. Encyclopedic is the best way to describe this book. I'm Too Young to Die is very in-depth and attempts to be educational for the diehards as well as those who know little of the genre. The first 75 pages goes into the tenets of what makes a first-person shooter a first-person shooter, going as far as to provide a glossary of terms the reader will need to be familiar with. It also details what the author calls the precursors, games released before 1992 with a first-person perspective that tiptoed the industry towards the proper birth of the genre. After that, that the chapters go year by year. It doesn't cover every single FPS released in each year, but damn does it cover a lot of them. There are hundreds of titles included here, and the author does a solid job of balancing the all-time classics with the cult classics, hidden or ignored gems, and plenty of titles that were not great. Each entry briefly goes over the game's history and describes their unique qualities, and the author is not shy about sharing his opinions on each, going as far as to say which platform he prefers if the game happens to be on multiple. While the all-time classics, like Doom, Quake, and Half-Life, get more attention than most entries, each title is respectably featured, and I never got the sense of anything being skimped on regardless of how niche or bad it was. Something I really appreciated is that at the beginning of each year, notable historical happenings happenings important to both first-person shooters and gaming on the whole are detailed. For instance, in 1992, we get a rundown of how shareware gaming came to be, the method in which many of the classics were released. And in 1993, there's a summary of the adoption of the CD-ROM format and the U.S. congressional hearings on violence in video games. Some of you may be wondering why the book only covers 1992 to 2002. The book actually touches on this, explaining that during this time, each year delivered rapid advancements in the medium, and there simply was too much ground to cover. And yeah, you could actually write full books on some of these years individually. But also, if this book did do 20 years instead of 10, with the same detail and depth, I feel like it would have been comically massive. That, or would have omitted a lot of stuff to keep the page count down. Plus, I do believe there is a plan to follow this up with a volume 2 covering 2003 to 2013. Oh boy. 
For me, the highlight of the book was the interviews with some of the heaviest hitters of first-person shooting. To name a few, Ken Silverman, Scott Miller, David Doak, Ken Levine, Warren Spector, and John Romero, who also wrote the foreword. But what I loved were the interviews with the creatives I hadn't heard of, as they were gold mines of information. One of my favorites was with David Smith. As told in his interview, in the late 80s, Dave designed The Colony, a first-person action puzzler that was a sort of precursor to Half-Life. And one of the biggest fans of that game at the time was a notable author by the name of Tom Clancy. The designer and author ended up meeting and sparking up a friendship that eventually led to the formation of Red Storm Entertainment. The success of one of Red Storm's early games, Rainbow Six, birthed the Tom Clancy gaming franchise as we know it. Yeah, that's the type of stuff I love to learn about. I'm Too Young to Die is an impressive, passionate, and well-executed love letter to my favorite gaming genre. It's a book that will be proudly displayed on my coffee table for the foreseeable future, and will definitely be a valuable resource for this channel. In fact, the whole time I was reading through it, I had a list going of any game I hadn't heard about that I felt would be awesome to cover. If this book is calling to you, you can purchase it on the Bitmap Books website. It retails for $40 American. I'll have the link posted in the description. That's all for me today. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Bitmap Books for providing me with the advanced copy. And a shout out to Shilton for helping me film. What are your thoughts on I'm Too Young to Die? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And for anybody who happens to own this book already, what games in here would you like to see featured on this channel? Be sure to let me know. If you dug the video, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and smack that bell. If you want to come say hi, my Discord is linked below along with my affiliate links. I'm Kirk, and thank you for watching this video. Stay safe out there.